I request you all to take your valuable time out for solving some special conformal transformation that is W is equal to cos Z. And I hope that you enjoy learning with me. So this is my all time favorite topic and gracefully you will build confidence and comfort in understanding by the end of this video. And let's get started with today's video that is W is equal to cos Z. As everybody knows that W is equal to this is U plus IV and Z value is equal to this is X plus IY. So if I substitute the same thing in W is equal to cos Z, see what happens here. W is equal to this value is cos Z. In place of W, I am writing as U plus IV. And this is cos of, in place of Z, I am writing as X plus IY. So here is a formula that cos of A plus B value is equal to. Here, this is the formula that is cos of A plus B value is equal to. This is cos A cos B minus this value is a sin A into sin B. And now if I consider this value as A and this value as B, see what happens to this. So this will be U plus IV value is equal to, this is cos A cos X into cos Y minus this value is a sin X into, this value is a sin Y. Clear? And we have few formula here. This is cos of IY value and cos of cos of IY value is equal to this is cos HY and sin. See here, sin of IY value is equal to this is I times of sin HY. So please remember in place of cos of IY, I am going to write cos of HY and sin of IY, I am going to write I times of sin HY. So in place of this and this, I'm going to shift it in terms of hyperbolic functions. So this value is going to become U plus IV is equal to, this is cos X. And in place of this, I'm going to write cos HY. See, cos IY, I'm writing cos HY. And in place of this, I'm going to write minus I times of this value is a sin X into sin HY. Clear? So after writing this, Clearly, we have to separate the real parts as well as the imaginary parts. So, U. So, this is the real part and this value, IY. So, this value is the imaginary part. Now, if I separate these two equations, then U value will become, so U value is equal to, this is cos X into, the value here is cos HY. And V value is equal to, this is minus sin X into, this value is a sin HY sin h y this is equation number one and this is equation number two and see first thing is first case one and case two there are two cases here in the case one i'm going to take x as a constant so as we have two equations which equations we have so one and two equations in in two equations i'm going to substitute x value is equal to c so as we have u is equal to this is cos x into this value is cos HY and V value is equal to this is minus a sin X into this value is a sin HY. In place of X, if I substitute C, see what happens. U will become, so in place of X, if I substitute C, this will be cos C into cos HY and V value is equal to, in place of X, if I substitute C, this will be sin C into this value is a sin HY. See here, this is now cos hy value, I am taking cos hy value and taking sin hy value from this. So cos hy value becomes cos hy value is equal to u by cos c clear and sin hy value from this is equal to minus v by this is a sin c. And now in order to eliminate uh, this one, in order to eliminate, we are going to squaring and subtracting. So now squaring and subtracting, what we'll get? See here. So now we have to square on both sides. So if I square, this will be cos square h y. So this is cos h square y is equal to, this is u square into cos square c. And if I square this one, this will be, sin h square y is equal to, if I square this one, this will be v square by this value is a sin square c. 
clear and now if i square and subtract if i square and subtract so this is minus and this is minus so this will be cos h square y minus this value is assigned h square y is equal to this is u square by this value is cos square c minus v square by this value is assigned square c clear as you know that cos h square y minus h square y is equal to 1 and therefore this is going to become 1 is equal to this is u square into cos square c minus v square into this value is a sine square c and the equation here is ready as uh, this value is a so this value is a clear and if you observe so this is of the form see here this is of the form so as you know that is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 it is an uh, hyperbola so this is a hyperbola and the force is nothing but the force is nothing but plus or minus root over as this is minus so here we have to keep plus that is a square plus b square comma zero so this is all in the form of an hyperbola and the force is this one so if i compare with this x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to one and the force will be see here the force value will be plus or minus root over a square what is a square here this is cos square c plus sine square c comma zero and this value is equal to plus or minus root one comma zero so here the force is the forces are minus one comma zero and plus one comma zero and now see in the transformation of a w plane so this is a w plane so in the w plane we got a hyperbola value here so we got an hyperbola so this is the shape of an hyperbola so this is 0 comma 0 and this value is minus 1 comma 0 and plus 1 comma 0 so these are the force foci and see this is in the w plane so this is u as well as this is v and this is the origin and this is the shape of an hyperbola and in the next case here, the case he is, so this is the case 2. In this, we have to substitute y is equal to c. As we have two equations ready here, so I'm going to substitute as the first one is u is equal to, see here, u is equal to this value is cos x, this is cos hy, and v value is equal to minus sin x into this value is sin hy. So if I put y is equal to c in both the equations, to see what happens here. So, in place of y, if I substitute, so u value is equal to, this is cos x into, this is cos hc and v is equal to, this is minus sin x into, this value is sin hc. Now, if I take out the values of cos x as well as sin x from both the equations, see what happens here. So, cos x value is equal to, cos x value is equal to u by, this is cos hc and sin x value is equal to minus v by this is the sin hc now in order to eliminate this cos x so we have to square and add squaring and adding now the equations we have to squaring and adding so we'll be getting so we'll be getting the values that is cos square x is equal to so this value this is cos square x is equal to this is u square by this value is cos h square c and the value the sin square x is equal to this value is v square by sin h square c now if i add this one so if i add this one so this will be cos square x plus the value here is the sine square x and if i add on both sides this is u square by this is cos h square c plus this is v square by this value is a sine square sine sine square hc as you know that cos square x plus sine square x is equal to 1 so i am going to write as u square by this is cos h square c plus v square by this is a sine h square c clear and now see this is of the form as you know that if you see this one so this can be written as that is u square by this is cos h square c 
plus v square by this value is assigned h square c is equal to 1. As it is very clear that this is of the form x square by a square. So this is of the form x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 with foci. This is plus or minus root over a square minus b square comma 0. So which equation it is? So it is an equation of ellipse. So this is an equation of the ellipse with foci. Now in order to find the foci here, so this will be plus or minus. So this value is cos h square c a square minus b square. So this is b. This is sin h square c comma 0. As you know that this is nothing but plus or minus 1 comma 0. So we got the foci value as minus 1 comma 0 and plus 1 comma 0. And this is an ellipse equation. Now, so here it is an equation in w plane. So this is the w plane here. So in the w plane, this is u as well as this is v and the ellipse is, is this. So this is the ellipse. So here the force is minus 1 comma 0 and this is plus 1 comma 0. This is s and this is s dash. And so this is the shape in the w plane when y is equal to c. For the second case, y is equal to c. So as you can observe that, so you can see how this uh, z plane transforms to the w plane so this is the z plane here so we have taken two planes that is so this value is x-axis so this is x-axis and this is y-axis and obviously this is zero so one time i have taken x is equal to c so here is a point on x so we can plot this as x is equal to c as like this so if you take c so this will be x is equal to c line and if i put some uh, y is equal to c constant so this is the line parallel to the x-axis so this is y is equal to c so here this is the region so this will be the graph in z plane and when you compare with the w plane here so this is the w plane so in w plane c in w plane so this is double this is u as well as this is v and this is the origin when x is equal to c so which shape we got when x is equal to c see here this is y is equal to c and now if you see x is equal to c if you put x is equal to c we got an hyperbola equation so with force a minus 1 comma 0 and origin 0 0 and see i am going to draw a parabola so this is the parabola here with foci here and here and the next one here is when y is equal to c we got an ellipse here. So we got an ellipse, we got the shape of an ellipse if you put y is equal to constant. So here for y is equal to c we got an ellipse value and this will be the shape of this. So here the force is very clear for both the hyperbola as well as the ellipse as minus 1 comma 0 and this is plus 1 comma 0 as force s. This value is s dash. This is 0 and this is u and this is v. So here y is equal to c. x is equal to c is transformed as an hyperbola in the w plane and y is equal to c is transformed as an ellipse. So this is the ellipse and in w plane so this is how we have to draw as this is very easy please have a note that this z trans z plane is transformed to the w plane through conformal transformation and this is so simple and this is most importantly asked a question and in my next video i'll be uploading uh, some special transformations conformation conformal transformation and if you really like you know please raise your thumb pass it on to as many friends as you can that is the greatest help needed to this channel and stay connected and have a nice time thank you so much for watching